Hi, I'm Brandon with Python Sports, and today I'm going to show you how to install our Python rubber racquetball grip. Uh, we're going to go over our items needed, our handle preparation, the installation, and also finishing of the grip. So first things we're going to need, um, a rag just to wipe up some excess glue, most importantly our rubber grip, a utility knife, a pointed awl, in a pinch you can use a pencil tip, uh, straightened out paper clip, but uh, ideally if you have a point at all. Diagonal cutters I would say are optional. A piece of electrical tape. And then also you would want our product uh, Gasca Cinch is what we sell on our website. In a pinch you could use WD-40, uh, hairspray, but whatever you do, do not use a rubber cement or any sort of contact cement. Uh, they add a lot of weight to your racket. Also, uh, they set up in their permanent, so they will stick to your handle of your racket and they will never come off. So ideally, uh, the product we sell on our website is Gasca Cinch. All right, we're going to start with our handle preparation. First, we're going to take off our wrist lacer. Make sure we save that because that's going to be reinstalled at the end. If your wrist lacer does not come off easily or it needs to be cut off, make sure you have a spare one or order one when you order your grip. To reinstall. Uh, if you've got a rubber grip on your handle, uh, it's just going to be cut off with a razor, with your razor blade. If you have a wrap grip, you're just going to unravel that wrap grip. Make sure to point away from you. You're going to slice down the middle, peel that off. Either grip you have, if it's a wrap grip you're taking off or a rubber grip, you want to make sure you're down to your bare handle. If you have any sort of plastic film or tape left on your handle, you're going to want to make sure you either peel that off uh, with your knife or uh, also your awl to help peel that off, but you want to be down to the bare handle. Okay, grip installation. We're going to take our rubber grip, we're going to take a light film on the applicator of our gasket cinch, a light, just, we're going to take just a light film, so we're going to take some off. If you have too much, you have glue just dripping everywhere, you're going to take on the applicator on the top of your grip. While spinning the grip, going in and out, going to apply a light film. Now for reference, the top of the grip is the end opposite your three rings. Without re-dipping your applicator, you're going to take a film, the applicator, up both sides of the handle, and then most importantly around the bottom or the butt of your handle. We're done with our applicator, we can set that aside. Now, holding the base of the handle or where your racket starts, you're going to take it with one hand, ideally opposite your dominant hand. We're going to take the grip without squeezing terribly hard. We want the grip to hold its shape. We're going to slowly push down on the grip. And once you start to see the end of your grip flare, you're going to take a little more grip and with a twisting and pushing motion, you're going to flare that over the butt of your handle. Okay. Once you've gotten over the butt of the handle, that's the hardest part, you're going to take a, a new grip and with a downward twisting pressure, you're going to just push down while twisting. Don't worry about time here. Once you've gone over your, your butt, you can take your time. It's not going to set up very quickly. You're going to straighten out your handle so it's that herringbone pattern is ideally down in a straight line. Don't be afraid, you're going to have a little excess grip that's going to get cut off. Once you have your desired length, you're going to take your electrical tape. I take the racket and I set it under my armpit and pinch that there. Use it like a vise. 50-50, the electrical tape is going to be on the grip and, and on the handle of the racket. This is just so it doesn't move while the glue sets up. I take about a spin and a half. I hold my hand there, I just peel the tape off. With all safety precautions, you're going to take your utility knife, you're going to find the end of the handle, you're going to push this through and you're going to use the end of the handle as a guide to rub, ride your blade on. 
I spin the racket while pulling. Your ring's gonna come off. At this point, you're gonna have a little excess glue. <clears throat> if you have a little piece of rubber here left, you can clip that off. If it's not gonna bother you, you can leave it on. It's not gonna affect the play. Now we need to reinstall our wrist lacer. That's where our awl is going to come into play. We're just going to double knot that. That's your installation. Now, uh, ideally, you would want this to set overnight for the glue to dry um, at a minimum hour to hour and a half uh, if you're at a tournament and need to, to install one mid-tournament. But ideally, over, let that sit overnight for a good cure of your uh, gaskus inch glue.